Hello everyone, this is Allie from Kidzu, and today I'm going to read to you Ruby's Birds. It's a story of one girl and how she discovered the joy of bird watching in her own neighborhood. Ruby's Birds, written by Maya Thompson, illustrated by Claudia Davila. Now before we start the story, I'd like to show you this page in the back because it shows all the birds that you can see in the pictures in this book and in your own neighborhood. So look for these birds as we're reading, and when we're done this story, you can look for these birds in your own neighborhood. All right, back to the story. Ruby's Birds. School's out. Mom and Dad are at work. My brother, Malik, is at soccer practice. Grandma's at her spot near the window. Alex keeps her company. Things are too quiet around here. I know what to do. I play the piano, the piece that my parents say is very grown up. I practice my dance routine, the one Malik calls stomping. I talk with Alex in the secret language Grandma taught us. What going on? What going on? I sing at the top of my lungs, the song I made up myself. My neighbor Eva from downstairs hears everything. She calls up from her window. Ruby, want to go to the park? Yes, 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 I sing. We pass my favorite bakery. We pass Cece's apartment. We walk right past my regular park, the one with the twisty slide and the sprinklers. I guess Eva is going to a different park. I skip to keep up. I follow her all the way to Central Park, where my parents sometimes take us on Sundays when we're all dressed up. Eva is going to the woods. I've never been that way. We sing made-up songs about joggers and strollers and fancy dogs. Bee, buzz, buzz, buzz. Suddenly, Eva stops. She looks up. She's listening. I quiet down and I listen too. What's wrong, I wonder. I hear a police car, a plane, some barking. I tug on Eva's sleeve, but she's not paying attention. She holds her binoculars up to her eyes. She is frozen like a statue. And then she smiles a huge smile. I guess everything's okay, so I start singing again. Ruby, Eva sighs. You scared him away. Who did I scare away? I ask. Eva flops down on a bench. I sit too. It's a bird I've only ever seen back home in Costa Rica, she says. He's just stopping through on his way north because this is the best patch of woods for miles around. He's quite a singer, just like you. If you stay quiet, we may be able to find him again. He's a golden-winged warbler. I nod. I don't say a word, or sing a word either. It sounds like something from a fairy tale. We move carefully. We're serious. We pay attention. We watch for tiny movements in the leaves. We try and try. No luck today, says Eva, but now you know what to do. I sing myself to sleep as usual. On Sunday morning, I beg for a walk to Central Park. Malik's not interested, but it's family time, so he has to come anyway. We pass the bodega, we pass the theater. I sing my song. My family listens along. At the park, I lead them straight to the woods. I'm silent. I'm serious. I'm paying attention. I hear a rustle in the leaves. Shh, I say. Just like Eva, I'm frozen like a statue. A tiny bird pops out of the leaves. It looks one way, then the other, then right at me. I can't help it. I get that huge smile, just like Eva's. Look, I yell. Ah, yes, 
says Grandma. I saw a warbler, I sing as he flies away. The end. There's lots of information in the back of this book all about birds you can find in your own neighborhood and some tips about how to see them and how to take a nature walk. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.